Welcome to our five-day devotional on the glory of God. Let me tell you where we're going in these five days and then we'll do the first one. We want to talk about why God created us. Secondly, we want to talk tomorrow about our failure to live up to why He created us. Third, we want to talk about Christ coming into the world to reveal the glory of God, to save us from our failure to glorify God. Fourth, what does a life look like to glorify God once you have been rescued by Him? And then fifth, what's the consummation of all things for the glory of God? So all of those relate to the glory of God. So here's number one for you to take away today. God created us for his glory. This is Isaiah 43, verse 7. Bring my sons from afar, my daughters from the ends of the earth, everyone whom I created for my glory. Which doesn't mean that he created us to increase his glory, but to display and to uh, offer his glory to us as a gift for our enjoyment. Which means then that you go over to 1 Corinthians 10:31 text that my mom and dad always shared with me when I was a kid, Johnny, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So now we have his purpose, God creates us for his glory, that is to magnify it, display it, make it look great, and then he tells us, live that way, live so as to make God look great. So we have God's design in creating us for his glory and we have our duty flowing out of that. And so the, the key question that we can leave ourselves with maybe for this first day is how, how can I go to work today? How can I uh, keep my house today? How can I raise my kids today for the glory of God? How can I eat pizza or drink orange juice to the glory of God? And, and the answer would surely be that in relying upon God, we show his trustworthiness. At every point of our lives, we're gonna be relying on him today. We're just little children and he's all sufficient. And when you rely on him, you make him look great. And he made you to enjoy this glory. And I've always taught, I've tried to make it clear in everything I say that God is most glorified in you when you are most satisfied in him. So I think your biggest challenge today is be maximally satisfied in God. So that's my challenge and my prayer for you. May God grant you today to see that you are made for his glory. May he grant you to see that that's your ultimate deepest duty is to live so as to make him look glorious and that the, the central core way to do that is to fight for maximum satisfaction in his glory so that that weans you off of other sinful satisfactions.